Now it's my great honour today to announce the Hall of Fame uh, laureates. Now Marsden girls have been making their mark on the world um, and the Marsden Hall of Fame celebrates that. Um, it celebrates those people who have uh, achieved in areas such as the arts, the community, culture, sport, science, business and the environment. To date, 24 outstanding women have been inducted into the Marsden Hall of Fame since it started in 2006. Many of these laureates have inspired us with their presentations and have made themselves available to mentor and advise students. It's a very difficult task every year, as I'm sure um, uh, some people here will attest, to select who we're going to induct into the Hall of Fame. As you can imagine, there's hundreds and hundreds of old girls who've done amazing things in the last um, 137 years. So this year we're delighted uh, to have selected four. And the four that we're going to induct today are Nolene Baker and June Blundell, both posthumously, Shirley Tonkin and Cassandra Tre Treadwell. The first one I'd like to talk about is Nolene Baker, or Isabel is her full name. Um, now she was at Fitzherbert <coughs> Terrace in the 1890s. And Nolene Baker receives this award in recognition of her work during the First World War, the Women's Land Army in England. We thought it was uh, an appropriate year to celebrate the achievements of a woman who helped in the war. Following her education at Fitzherbert Terrace School, Nolene's family returned to England, where she became a student at the Slade School of Art. She also became active in the local suffragette movement, and later in the national movement. When World War I broke out, she became involved in organising the Women's Farm Labour Service. As the need for food for the nation became more urgent, the British government formed the Women's Land Army, and Nolene became the organising secretary for Surrey. She was awarded an MBE for her work in 1920. She was also a conservationist. When she returned to New Zealand in 1930, she bought 34 acres of land at Half Moon Bay on Stewart Island. Here she built a home and created a garden of plants indigenous to the island. She returned to England at the start of the Second World War to resume her work with the Women's Land Army. After the war, she returned to New Zealand and helped set up post-war reconstru reconstruction study groups, believing that to wait until peace is in sight is dangerous because the building of peace is a task that demands careful and prolonged study. Her garden was designated a scenic reserve in 1848. Although the house burned down in 1967, it is still New Zealand's southernmost public garden. Now, Nolene did not have children, but she has very proud descendants, and we're delighted that Nolene's citation is to be received by Jenny Hinton, who is descended from Nolene's uncle, Horace Baker. So I'd like to ask Jenny to come forward to receive the citation. Until her death in 2012. 
a softly spoken woman who never saw the limelight. She worked quietly and tirelessly on behalf of many community organisations and charities. Lady June Blundell died in 2012. However, we are thrilled that her daughter Sally Winston is here today and will accept the award on her mother's behalf. Thank you. 